Hi students, this is Mrs. Cato, one of the eighth grade science teachers. I am going to explain what you're going to do on this data sheet. We are sharing this with you so that you might go home and get some information from your parents about some different things. Um, we have home energy, we have information about transportation, and information about waste. And based on your answers to this, you will be calculating your carbon footprint on a different website um, probably on a different day, um, your teacher will let you know when to do that. But we thought it would be good if you were able to get your data down so that when you do go to the footprint calculator that you know what your data is and you're not wondering um, about your house. So here's what we have here. So it says, how many people live in your home? So you're just going to go ahead and put a number there. So two, four, five, six. Um, if you have two different homes, you know, mom lives in one home, dad lives in another home, you can just do one of your homes if you want, or you could um, combine it and just pretend like you are, you know, all in one home, whatever you would like to do for that. Zip code, so 46239, 46259. I think some of you are 46237. Um, anyways, ask your parents what your zip code is if you're not sure what it is. Um, the school's zip code is 46259 if you just want to use... Um, one for Franklin Township. All right, so um, the first category is your current emissions from home energy. So the first question is, what is your household's primary heating source? Most of you are either natural gas or electricity. So I would ask your parents. Some of you probably have an all electric house and some of you probably use some electric, um, or sorry, um, some of you probably um, only use natural gas as your heating. Some of you have electric. Some of you might use electricity for certain things and natural gas for others. Um, so anyways, uh, fuel oil you probably won't use and propane you probably won't use, but um, you can ask your parents maybe. Some of you use that for some reason. All right, so on here, um, you're gonna check one of these as your primary heating source. So you could do one of two things. Um, you could go up here and, I mean, I would probably go up here and fill it in as a certain color, whatever color you want to highlight um, the one that you have, or you could um, highlight the words and instead of doing the background, you could change the font to a different color if you wanted, let's say, you know, you wanted to color that red instead of um, doing a background, reset that. So somehow you are going to be um, kind of selecting each one of these things. All right, then your next question is, what is your average monthly bill for each of these sources? So natural gas, you're either going to um, put this in as money or the number of therms used. So most people will probably do money, um, but if your parents know the number of therms, then that's fine. So just kind of the average over the year, um, what is their average uh, natural gas bill? Some of you don't have natural gas running to your house, and so you're going to put $0 here because you don't have any. Um, others of you, um, you know, it might be a certain dollar amount. So just go ahead, you can go ahead and delete this and then just put like $4 in or 15 or 20 or 50 or whatever your parents say that they use. Um, then for electricity, overall, your electricity use. Again, it's going to be either in dollars or kilowatts. And so, you know, go ahead and delete this and actually put the amount of um, electricity you use. And this isn't just for heating. Um, this is just your overall uh, electricity usage. Okay, and then um, fuel oil, again, most of you is probably going to be zero, and propane, most of you probably zero. Um, all right, next one, reducing your emissions. So the way to reduce your home emissions, here's a few possible possibilities. So turn up the AC thermostat in the summer. So how many degrees do you turn your thermostat up, like when you leave your house or maybe just during the day, um, either wh whether you're home or not? Uh, maybe some of your parents have a, um, a thermostat that changes itself when, at a certain time of day. So um, what is that number of degrees? And you can just put a number in there. Then the next one, turn down the thermostat um, in the winter. So again, if you're not home or maybe at night or uh, whatever, how many degrees do you on average turn it um, down during the day? to save energy. Lighting, replacing incandescent lights with energy star bulbs. So like LED bulbs or those like curly 
curly ones. Um, I forget what, the, I forget what they're called off the top of my head right now. But anyways, um, how many of those bulbs do you have around your house? So I have quite a few around my house because some of the lights that I have take like three bulbs or whatever. And I've got like three of the Energy Star ones in there. So I had a, a large number there for that one for myself. Um, energy source and settings enable the power management feature on your computer. So like if you're not using it, it'll just automatically shut off. I know on our Chromebooks, um, I think that that's pretty much already done for us. And we already do that. Um, it'll turn off after so many minutes. Um, you can select will not do if you will not do that setting on your computer. Um, and will do if you're going to do it, but you haven't done it yet. Um, this one increased the household green energy usage by and then they want the percent of your electricity that you're getting from green power. So maybe like solar power or um, I don't know if there's something with the electric company where maybe your parents can buy a certain percentage of their electricity from that green power. Um, most of you is probably going to be zero right here for zero percent. Um, but uh, ask your parents. Next one, washing and drying, washing your clothes in cold water. Will you do this in the near future? Will you not do this or do you already do this? And then over here, you can delete this right here and um, enter the number of loads per week. And remember with these will do, will not do, already done, you're either going up here and um, coloring in the background so you remember which one you chose or you can go up here and change the color of the font of the one that you choose. Um, or like let's say you choose will do, then you can just go ahead and delete, um, for example, this one and this one because you're not doing that. Uh, if you want, go put those back. All right, next, um, use clothesline or drying rack instead of dryer. Will do, will not do, or already done. Um, and again, you can delete the two that you aren't doing or color in the background or change the font color. And then, um, oh, if you are um, for the drying rack and or clothesline, then you're choosing, um, like, let's say you choose will do. Are you going to do that with all your laundry, 50% of your laundry, 20% of your laundry, or 10% um, of your laundry? Okay, moving down to Energy Star products. So it says replace the following products with Energy Star models. So refrigerator, will you replace it? Will you not replace it? Or do you have a pretty pretty much new refrigerator anyways, and it's probably Energy Star. Same with these. If you live in a newer house, there it's pro all these are probably already done for you, and you can, you know, delete these other ones or, you know, not shade in those and shade in the um, already done or change the color of the font. All right, moving down. Your current emissions for transportation. So how many vehicles does your household have? Um, the max number is five for the survey that you're going to do. So if you have any more than five, just put five here. Um, if you've got one car, then put a one, two, three, four, whatever. All right. Perform regular maintenance on your vehicles. That would be like oil changes and that kind of thing. So do your parents not really do that regularly or do they already do it? Most of you are probably going to be already with the already done. And then you have spots here for all your vehicles. So if you do have five vehicles, you would fill all these different spaces. And if you just have one vehicle, you would just fill in the information for vehicle one. So on average, how many miles <clears throat> does your parent drive? And you can either do this per year or per week. So if they know how many miles they drive per week, then that's fine. Just fill this in with, you know, whatever number and then highlight <clears throat> per week or delete per year if you're not using per year um, and put your number there. Then average um, average gas miles for your car. So on average, how many miles per gallon does your car get? Um, you could look that up online if your parents have a, I don't know, Ford Fiesta, then you can type in Ford Fiesta gas mileage and you should be able to get an approximate miles per gallon that that vehicle gets. All right, moving down. Then to reduce your emissions, um, this one is reduce the number of miles you drive vehicle one by, um, and you would do this for um, each of your, your vehicles. <clears throat> so um, let's see, reduce the number. Oh yeah. So this would be like, <clears throat> if instead of your mom take, you know, driving you to school every day, maybe you decided to take the bus. So that would save some miles per year, how many miles per year or how many miles per week would that save? And then replace vehicle number one um, with, 
with one that gets so this would be like let's say you have a real gas guzzling vehicle and you're going to replace it with a hybrid car um then that's where you would you would put something here but most of you <coughs> probably are, aren't gonna you know run out and change your vehicle so that probably won't apply um and i need to fill this in i'll add the other vehicles down here too i forgot to do that Okay, next, um, your current emissions from waste. So which of these products do you currently recycle at your house? Do you currently recycle aluminum and steel cans, plastic, glass, newspaper, or magazines? And again, um, you can either highlight them or delete the ones that you don't recycle, whatever you want to do. And then down here, in order to reduce your emissions from waste, it says start recycling the materials you don't recycle. Which products do you not select, or sorry, did you not select in the previous question that you want to recycle soon. So let's say that up here <coughs> you delete plastic and glass because you don't currently recycle those. And then down here you would say plastic and glass if you're going to start recycling them, if that's, you know, in your plans to do. If not, then just leave that blank. Um, but this would be whichever things up here you didn't select that you, you know, plan to start recycling. So that's what the, um, so when you have that data all filled in, then you will be ready to enter it in the calculator whenever your teacher has you do that. If you have any questions, ask your teacher.